Now, let's take a real example. You have x plus y is less than or equal to 9. We need to express this particular inequality. So let's draw a rough uh, graph for this. So we will have the, yes, you're right. This is the y-axis and you have the x-axis. We need to plot this line. Now, when you look at the line, you see there is one x term, there is a y term, and also there is a third constant. It's a linear inequation or a linear relationship in two variables along with the constant. Now, this type of a line is going to be inclined to the coordinate axis, that is x and y axis, and it is going to intersect both the axes. Now, let us see how. To, so, we need two points or two addresses to plot this line. So let's do the same thing. We take say x is equal to 0. In that case, we have to consider x plus y is equal to 9 to find the boundary. So we take x is equal to 0. Substitute, we get 0 plus y is 9. So y is 9. So that means 0 comma 9 is a line. So if you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So and this, this point would be 0, 9. Right. Next, we can take, now this is 1, 9. Next, we can take y as 0. Substitute, you get x plus 0. Uh, x plus 0 is equal to 9. So, we get x is equal to 9. So, the point is going to be 9, 0. So, there you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. So this is 9 comma 0. Join this point and this point and you have the line x plus y equal to 9. But we are interested in the region x plus y less than or equal to 9. So again, this is the non, this is the origin side, this is the non-origin side. So this is going to be x plus y greater than 9. And this is going to be the region x plus y less than 9. But we also include the line, so we shade from the line like this. So this is going to be x plus y. less than or equal to 9. Mind you, suppose you add an additional clause. Also, x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Also, y has to be greater than or equal to 0. Then, this region is not covered. It's going to be just this triangle because all this region will include those points whose x coordinates are less than 0. Similarly, this region would include all the points whose y coordinate is negative and this would include all the points whose x coordinate as well as y coordinate is or less than 0. So if you're going to also add this additional clause along with this, you're not going to shade all this, you're going to shade just this much. Hence, we have a combination of x plus y less than or equal to 9, x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0. In case you have it that way, this would be the region. However, in this example, no such constraint has been mentioned. So, hence we shade this whole region. All this would be the region x plus y less than or equal to y. So, this is how we shade this particular region. So, simply just plot the line, check which is the origin side and which is the non origin side, compare it with what is the requirement of the particular uh, statement or the question. Accordingly, you shade it. Okay, so let's learn more about how to make graphs more effective. Let's take more examples. Basically, it's about reinforcement. So, we have this thing, graph to express inequality x plus y is greater than or equal to 9. We need to have to go into finer details because more or less it's part of the same particular inequality and then further. So, here we have the x-axis, this was 9, 0, 9, this was 9, 0, so we join this. This 
was the line x plus y is equal to 9. So here you have the line x plus y is equal to 9. So this part is away from the origin as we said or we say this is a non-origin part of that particular line and hence this side is going to be x plus y greater than or equal to 9 because it also includes the line. As I told in the previous example, we let's reinforce this. I am shading even this part, this part. Suppose I desist from shading this part and the part to the left of the y-axis and below the x-axis. That means if I consider this particular region, then it would also include x is greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 and x plus y is greater than or equal to 9. So this would include only just this particular region. So wherein this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So this would be this. But as per our question, it would also involve shading this part of it. Hence this is the region x plus y greater than or equal to 9. To use a different terminology, as the region moves away from the origin, which is also equivalent to saying the non-origin side of the line, it is a greater than area. And the region which is going closer to the origin or it is the origin side of the line is the lesser than area, provided the line is intersecting the x and y axis or the lines are parallel to x or y axis. So this is a simple example, just an extension of what we did in the previous one. Let's check whether there are more examples. So yes, you have graph to express the inequality y is less than or equal to half. So again, we go about doing the same exercise that is drawing the graph. Again, as I told you, we just need two points to plot. So we have y is equal to, so we need to first plot y is equal to half x. So one such, as I told you, this is a line, this is an equation having only y and x and there is no other third constant added to it. So this line is going to pass to the origin. So let's take x as 0, in that case y would be equal to half into 0, 0. So we have 0, comma 0 and hence we have this point here. We can take any other value, you can take uh, x as 4. So y is going to be half into 4 minus 2. So we have 4 comma 2 also lying on this line. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be 4, 1, 2. So this would be 2. So this is the point 4 comma 2. This is the point 0 comma 0. Join these two and you have the boundary of the required region. That is, this is the line y is equal to half x. So we have y is equal to half x. Now this line, we can't use the logic whether it's the origin side or non-origin side because both the regions are either moving away from the origin or moving towards the origin. How do we decide? Various ways of doing it. Simplest thing that is there is take some point over here. We can take this point. Its coordinates are 4, 0. Substitute in this equation, we have y as 0 and you have half into 4. So 0 and 2. So 0 is less than 2. That means y is less than x. Or in other words, y is less than half x. So this region is the region y is less than or equal to half x. In other words, half x is greater than or equal to y. We need to remember that. So on this side, we have this. So how do we decide? Just put in, pick up some point from that region. Easiest would be to pick up some point lying on the x-axis or y-axis and substitute the coordinates and find out which is big, the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And hence, we have this region as y is less than or half x. Again, I remind, suppose there is an additional constraint also that x is greater than or equal to 0, it will include, include just this triangle over here. Just this triangle will be included if you also say 
x is greater than 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 along with y is less than or equal to half x. So if this is the case, we just shade this part of it, just this, not beyond that. So this is how we plot this particular line, this particular line and the particular region. So we have this 